What a damn train wreck this is. The Halo TV show has been canned. Ladies and gentlemen, it's no big surprise. We've been lied to. I mean, what happened? I thought this was the most successful show in TV history, right? This is actually a good thing in many ways. Halo fans for a Halo show are actually uh, pretty excited about this being canceled. You know, it's, uh, it's not terribly surprising though, given how the producers and the actors and just the general, you know, <laughs> they're so out of touch. They, they've dismissed us so many times. And so it is bittersweet to see a Halo show that actually got investment, that actually escaped development hell, and actually was made to get out there to Halo fans, but get canceled because they did it all wrong. And hopefully the lesson that they take away from this is that they already had a broad audience with Bungie's vision. It was actually fantastic. Millions of people around the world were picking up Halo every single day. We're excited about the next Halo game. This is not Halo. This is a weird fanfic, Frankenstein creation that they thought that would vibe with basically them, what they wanted personally Halo to be, what they wanted to corrupt Halo and turn it into something better because for some reason they're in this infinite, endless struggle with feeling jealous that Bungie created vi uh, Halo's vision in the first place and they, for the life of them, cannot beat it. And that's why we have people like Kiki Wolfkill that signed off on the script that was reportedly there for every single scene filmed in season two. And I just can't believe someone that that worked on Halo 4, although I also can believe this, signed off on every scene, right? That's just mind-boggling to me. But it, it, it fits that 343, uh, you know, mindset so well. So Paramount Plus is moving on from Halo. <laughs> and honestly, they're like, we can't afford this, all right? Obviously, the producers hate it. The fans hate it. But the show's producers are still reportedly shopping it around. In other words, they want some other sucker to pick up $90 million a season for this show. When clearly, the show has very little interest in what fans want, what Halo is actually about. They just want to write their own fanfic story. I hate the silver timeline. I really do. Even though season 2 was better, season 1 was just absolute dog water okay i think the show at some point could actually be decent by season four or season five but they wanted it to go off all the way to season seven i, I just feel like it's not worth it i, I wish they spent that 90 million dollars on a blockbuster blur movie recapping the events of halo reach and halo one i think that would have been awesome okay that would have done a lot more appeal to the modern audiences out there I think would have been a lot better entry to the franchise and plus I really don't think Halo belongs in the live and uh, live action area anyway I think it belongs in the animation area only but that's just me let's read the article Paramount has canceled its live action Halo series for Paramount Plus and uh, this is not rumors this is not just talk this is actually reported from the Hollywood Reporter and Variety if you're a fan of the show and want to see it continue there is a silver of hope uh, both publications report that the show's producers are shopping the series around, so perhaps there will be a third season. Yeah, we can still get a third season, by the way. We are extremely proud of this ambitious series and would like to thank our partners at Xbox, 343 Industries, and Emblem Television, along with the showrunner and executive producer David Wiener, his fellow executive producers, the entire cast led by Paula Schreiber as Master Chief and the amazing crew for all their outstanding work. We wish everyone the best going forward. So it's basically interdevelopment hell. I don't think anyone's going to be super excited jumping to produce this show. It is not only very expensive, it is also very divisive and fans hate it. All right. I mean, just looking at the comments real quick, I made a post about this. Look, the saddest part is that Paramount's takeaway will, that, will be that people didn't want a Halo show instead of realizing that they ruined it. We did want a Halo show. In fact, personally, I think most people like myself don't even care if it's non-canon. It was just bad story writing, right? The characters were unlikable. The story was stupid. There was plot holes. I mean, it was just dumb 
how did they reread the script 220 times? It makes no sense. It's just this, I, I mean, what is going on here, right? I think ChatGPT could write a better Halo story than this, right? Well, when you think of it, you can make a better story <laughs> than the studio who made it and the character assassinates, um, and they character assassinate the chief, you get what you deserve. Exactly, right? It's this constant competition with Bungie and their vision for Halo and how good it was in the first place. For some reason, they feel like they need to write better and do better. And really, ironically, their legacy is ruining Halo. No one likes 343's Halo. Not really. And no one really likes a Halo TV show. Like, people are fed up with this garbage. Like, I think Halo Infinite was better, but I digress. Anyway, they say some fans of the show could never get over the decision to show Master Chief's face throughout the majority of the show. Something that's never been done in the games. Honestly, this won't even have bothered me so much if it made some sense, right? If the character was half likable, right? There was also <laughs> uh, that hilarious uh, sex scene, yeah? That was so stupid and out of character. It's exactly what I mean. Like, I think everything could have been better if, like, the character wasn't really stupid and childish and arrogant. He was just arrogant and annoying. He always acted like he was better than everyone. And uh, generally, he was just stupid, and he made big mistakes, and he led Reach getting destroyed, and no one talked about it. Like, he was the reason why Reach got destroyed. They just kind of skipped over that, hoping people wouldn't notice. But yeah, Chief destroyed Reach in the show. Doesn't really feel like a hero to me. Anyway, the show's second season was a vast improvement over the first. Yeah, I think it was a bit better. The first season was probably like a 4 out of 10, maybe less. The second season was like a 6 out of 10. But that's really, I mean, a lot of a lot of it's like the props, the soundtrack, you know, the scenery, the CGI, I think we're all really good. It definitely feels high budget, but it just falls apart in the story. And if the story is bad, no one cares about any of those things, right? No one's going to pick up a Paramount Plus subscription just so they can look at the visuals. Like, it's not going to happen, right? Um, and, and, and it's not only these things, too. It's not only the story. It's the fact that they very much intentionally got away from the score they want to change Halo's vibes. They want to change who Master Chief is. They want to make uh, him super, super hyperhuman to the point where he's just a baby. Uh, and he has baby emotions all the time. He's not a soldier. He's not cool. He's just this emotional pussy the entire show. And, it, and, and people, I, I hope that the producers, if they pick up a third season, see this. And say, okay, we will pick up a third season, but only if you listen to the Halo fans. Only if you begin to respect the story. You do an actual reboot this time. The second season was not a re reboot. That was that was a lie. That was a trap. They it was <laughs> it was not a spiritual reboot at all, right? So if they make this respect Halo, and you actually go back to canon then we will pick up the Halo show. In fact, we'll do you one better. Maybe start over from scratch. And personally, I would love it if they did an animated series. Not only is it vastly cheaper, more accessible, we can get more episodes, more content that way. It feels like Halo. Let Blur do it, right? Just like, a, I don't know, an 80-minute movie. Whoever's watching this, Netflix, you know, anyone in Hollywood, if you pick up this show, not that they're actually watching this, but if they pick up this show, man, I hope they know what they're walking into. Because uh, if they're just listening to the journalists that think they know better than all of us that are rating season two, oh my God, it's a nine, it's a 10 out of 10, then they are screwed. They are screwed just like Paramount and they're gonna get suckered into this. If they were suckered into it, it might be their fault. I'm not quite sure. Whoever the producers are, whoever signed off on the script, whoever thought this was a great idea, putting your money into this was a really dumb idea. And so, anyways, I hope that whoever invests in season three and picks up this show and buys it off from Paramount, then I think that <laughs> they know what they're getting into and they make some huge changes. So, what do you guys think about this? Clearly, you guys have let your voices be heard. <laughs> I think it's good that it's canceled. I'm tired of talking about it low-key. Um, I wish they would put that money into fixing Halo Infinite, maybe. Or the next Halo game. Alright, that's a lot of money. Eight hundred, eight. What is it? $180 million down the drain.